40 years ago, a smash hit show debuted on CBS that is still incredibly popular today. This summer, a giant fan festival is being held in Virginia to celebrate it. To tell us all about it, I want you to welcome the stars of the Dukes of Hazard, Tom Wopat, Katherine Bach, and Ben Jones. You guys have to be amazed that after 40 years, the people of America still love the Dukes of Hazard. It's incredible. It's well, become an iconic show. It yeah. is. Yeah. We've been blessed. I mean, when I was a kid, or actually when I was an adult, the show that I would watch, like three or four in a row, the Andy Griffith Show. Yeah. And that's people would do with this show. And it's transgenerational. Well, it's timeless because it's, it's wholesome American right. stories. It's not violent. It's not profane. You don't have to run your kids out of the room. Right. It was just yeah. old-fashioned classic entertainment. Thank Why you. don't we have that more today? <laughs> well, that's, that's why our show continues to be popular. At four, when we first came on the air, the television critic for the Los Angeles Times said, his name was Howard Rosenberg, knew the guy, he said, this show will not last past the first commercial. <laughs> <laughs> There's a network genius. Huh? But that was 40 years ago. Yeah. And now the show is not only beloved throughout America, and you're right, people watch it because they trust us with their family. Yeah. It is a clean show. The good guys win. Nobody gets hurt. It's great music, great action. They easy do. It's got all the stuff going for it. <laughs> you know, Daisy Catherine, Duke, enough said. <laughs> okay. Hey, Catherine, you were the heartthrob of every young man in America when this show was on. You're still beautiful <laughs> today. It's a delight to see you. Is it true that during the show, your legs were insured for a million dollars. Is that true? Yes, it's true. They told me mine were worth 50 cents uh, at there their peak. <laughs> but you know, you have to feel good about when you go out and, and you guys are doing some events now, reviving the Dukes of Hazard magic. It's so interesting because we have great grandma and grandpa, we have grandma and grandpa, we have their kids, we have the babies, and the babies have their kids. <laughs> so we have a huge span of generations and they, everybody comes, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing for us to, to see that and that we connected, our show connected with uh, people that, and that's basically what an entertainer does, is they- They had a show at, at Ben's store in Luray, Virginia, two years ago called Cooter's Last Stand. Mm. Mm. We had 25,000 people. 25,000? Yeah. We expected 5,000, Pe People maybe. would stand, up, stand in line for five, is, six this, hours. This, this is 40 years after we came on the air. <laughs> in 2006, here in Nashville, at the, uh, at the old fairgrounds racetrack there, the newspaper and the police said we had over, over 100,000 people. Good. Yeah, uh, heavens. Well. That was huge. And, and it, it just keeps going on and on. And uh, we've, there are people who own General Lee's and, and New Zealand and Italy. By the way, did you know uh, Italy is now third in watching the Dukes of Hazzard? <laughs> Italy. Uh, Italy. Italy, Italy. You know, they really relate like to they southern do. life, you know, yeah. in Italy. There's, a, there's southern Italy, but they, they got pretty girls and fast cars and what's not to like. Well, I mean, I think that's it. The formula of the show was simple. Yeah. It was a family. And there was there was cars and there was action and there was there was conflict, but it always resolved at the end of the show in a peaceful. And we uh, all we way. also looked after the other people in the town. Like even if Boss and Roscoe got in trouble, we'd help them out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that I think it was really really a, a thing that was totally special. I love you guys. I love the show. I'm so honored We're that you to came to be with us and to share with our audience some great great memories and nostalgia of a truly American uh, icon, the uh, Dukes of Hazard. And uh, by the way, since you're here, you gotta come over and we gotta do this theme song, we right? We got one more big special thing for you. Okay, we All gotta right. do that. Y'all gotta help us sing the chorus. I wanna tell our audience that the Good Old Boy Fest is August the 10th and 11th at Shenandoah Speedway in Virginia. Now, if you want tickets, you better act now. I mean, I, I think this thing will sell out, so get your tickets now, go to goodoldboysfest.com.